Hello big lovers of giveaways, this is Unkindest and that is World of No Thanks Blitz and today I would like to show you the battles which provided the victory for the giveaway we just had. I would like to thank once again all participants of the event, you did awesome. And as far as I know, the prize has already been delivered to the rightful owner. The first battle is from Casbury of Elements Clan EU server. And for this he is driving his tier 9 Amex Forge French tank destroyer on Oasis pawns in supremacy. From the start he goes to the right flank to support the advance of his meds as his team mainly consists of them. Half of Reds decided to go to this side as well, which is not very smart. Blatiful HE blind shot on the waffle and once spotted he relocates to find more comfortable position to shoot. The armor on this tank is very good, which allows him to kill the enemy ISU without losing a single point of his health. Next up is IS-5, who advanced a bit too far, but an unfortunate miss. Aim better for fuck's sake. And here comes the karma. The waffle stick his HE to the soft side of the poor Amex Forge and took 949 of his pressure hit points. On the bright side though, the IS-8 bounced his shell. In the meantime, the team is losing, no bases are capped, meaning no victory points for anyone today. Finally, one bright red head decided to cap and our Amex Forge is helping to kill T-54. But there is a sneaky ISA behind who wants a piece of our Amex Forge and regardless of all attempts to bounce him by wiggling, he managed to pen. But he probably has no idea how insane the Forge DPM is, how hard it is to pen it when you face him. Casbury managed to survive this attack, but no time to relax as two more reds are coming from the right. Smart move is to use HE against that waffle and there is no more waffle. All that brought teams back to equal terms 3 vs 3. The tier 8 VK is a good tank, but reckless shooting of the driver allowed Casbury to defeat this opponent as well. Good job. Now, the remaining T95 is a fierce rival who could easily win this battle. But among other features, the Amex Forge possesses very good mobility which allowed Casbury to flank and reach the sacred, the T-95 soft bottoms. And of course Casbury took advantage of it and placed three HE shells right between those hemispheres. Finally, the reliable APCR was used to finish the doomed turtle. The battle resulted in all three missions done, 5723 damage, ace mastery medal, but more importantly 5676 spare parts, which is really impressive result and was very close to the victory in the giveaway contest. The honor at second place is rightfully yours, Casbury. Now is the time to watch the battle, which led to unprecedented amount of spare parts earned in one battle. Is from Herm Rose of R2K clan EU server. The 
tank that brought him this victory is T57 Heavy played on Himmelsdorf on Encounter. Now T57 Heavy was recently buffed, the turret was reinforced and the reload time inside the clip decreased. T57 Heavy is a very strong tank these days. Once the battle started, Herm Rose drive his heavy directly to the so-called banana area, which is a standard heavy way. Even though the enemy team mainly consists of fast tanks and TDs, he still chooses this side. But apparently Red Mads decided to support their TDs and go like, all right, all lose. That allowed Herm Rose to unload his clip very fast and he was in good position where he was able to reload rather safely. The second clip he unloaded even faster, taking down the enemy Death Star and discovering that I7 and Patton rushed really close now. Here you can see how map relief from left side and teammate from the right side are used as a cover during the clip reload time. Once it's done, he's focusing his effort on IS-7, but the last shell had to be placed in 4202 because he covered the target, and it is a low time once again. Now take a closer look how the E100 is used again as a cover from the threat from the right side. Once he decided to push, Hermbros is moving together with him like a shadow. The same E100 allowed him to turn left, covering him from IS-7 and to finish off the 4202 and a bit later the IS-7. As I said many times before, it's really important for an autoloader to have a safe place to reload. Sometimes that safe place is driving, preferably to the next target. So Herm Rose pays no attention on T-54, he can't shoot it, so he is simply passing by while T-54 is distracted. He unloads his clip on the move, removing the jack tiger from this battle and without hesitation proceeds further. The situation now is 2 vs 2, which is manageable, and Herbrose is heading towards his remaining teammate, because that is what you should always do, stay close and back each other up. Reckless T-54 decided to come at almost reloaded autoloader without enough hit points to sustain 3 penetrations from it and without a backup. That always ends the same way, going to garage. The only tank remained to kill is Grille. Grille is quite fast and with certain luck might never be caught by these slow heavies. Hermrose can leave his companion now because he is rather likely to kill the Grille with 3 HE shells he has in the pocket. Someone in the chat is not happy with Grille behavior. He probably thinks that Grilly should have been pushing and shooting other tanks in hull down position using his armor. IS-7 is ready for a draw, which is not an option for Herm Rose, otherwise he can't win in the contest. Besides, draw is a defeat for both teams, there is simply nothing good in draw at all. But doesn't matter, Grill got spotted and it's a matter of time now. First Hichi round did good damage, but second, as usual, just splashed. Therefore Herm Ross is not risking the third and switching for AP for the last one. Something happened with Grilly, either ping or something, and he decided to kill the ridge. That gave the necessary time for Herm Ross to reload and finish the Grilly while even bouncing him.
The battle resulted again in all three missions done, impressive 7490 damage, ace mastery medal of course, and the cherry on the top is 5885 spare parts, which is the biggest amount I have ever seen. That is a deserved victory and luckily we get to even watch how it happened. That is all for today, hope you like this activity and we will be able to do something like this again in the future. Don't forget to support me by clicking thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more useful stuff. This is Unkindest, World of No Thanks Blitz and I will see you next time.